So what we have done here is we've sh came in a valley with our fence. And as you can see, there's a lot of pressure on this fence. On this fence and I took big nails which I discussed in I don't know video two or three or four or something like that and that way you can put a fence and staple in here and that nail is taking most of your pressure off but we still have a t-post right here that eventually will be sucked out completely what we have done is taken a five and a half foot t-post the same as right here and stuck it in the ground now about a foot and a half of that post is actually sticking out still and you will see what we are going to do next we did the same thing right over here because this fence is going to naturally want to pull up so what i'm using for this wire is just smooth wire and i'm going to take off i suppose about five or six feet of this wire right here so we have our i don't know maybe that's closer to seven feet i guess we're going to take our wire on our five foot five and a half foot t-post which is sticking out of the ground probably closer to two feet maybe a foot and a half somewhere in there and i'm going to wrap that wire tight as close to the to the ground as I can get it. When you drive that T-post in, drive it so that the little knobs or nipples are on the bottom side so it gives something for your post to grab onto. And remember, this is tight. When you're done with that, do a tight wrap. Get it as close as possible. There is difference between craftsmanship, a good rancher, knows how to tighten this stuff up now with that secure I'm going to pull my wire down now this is a trick by yourself there we are once you get to the desired length which is right about there make sure your wire has all straightness in here First loop, over, back around, cross the other way, which I'll show you more in detail. And my cameraman is gone, so you'll have to excuse me. There we are. Time for our second wire. See that? It's not taking the pre it's taking the pressure off that T-post now. And this here is almost indestructible. Okay, here we are. Over, up, back flip over, and secure. Now we straighten our wire out, like so. What we have done so far is to close to the ground as we can, four loops, Four loops over and over this here will be tightened up a bit we come up we loop over around and up keep a straight wire over around 
and up. You don't want a big knot there, folks. Keep it nice and neat. Now my wire is completely straight again, and we'll go ahead and get started with the next couple of wires here. Take the, all the curvature out of your wire and around. Keep your wire straight. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this off just a bit. There we go. Because it was already starting to pull it up out of the ground. That was the only one connected to the T-post. Back around, over. back around and now at this point we're going to come around the wire Cut our excess off and our excess off you seeing what we did we kept that line coming straight up kind of like a stay in a fence kind of like a t-post but you can see the wire comes down into that, keeping the pressure on the post. Now you can see it's doing the same thing here, and eventually, well, not eventually, it is already, look at it here. It's pulled that T-post right up out of the ground. So much pressure is on that. So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna anchor that down into here to keep that from happening giving you some idea this is a small little dip just a small one the next hill over we have a actual ravine in there so here's our post we are going to come down as far as we can and wrap our wire right here our nipples down here kink your wire as tight as you can get it to come around the bottom of that post. Now our wire is right there. We're gonna come straight up and put downward pressure on this wire. This trick really proves itself so valuable. Time and time again, when you are working in ravines, creeks, rivers, what have you, low spots in the ground, this little trick will anchor you down. Literally, this wire was 16 feet above my head. I have had it 35 and 40 feet above my head, literally as tall as a telephone pole before. Secured four times, like I had shown you up straight up looped looped no tension all tension on here if i pull one they all move and secured at the top now i had moved my t-post down a little bit closer to my anchor point and for a definite reason it was just a little dip there and it kept pulling that t-post out so the t-post really is acting as more of a stay here in this in this case so i put the t-post closer to the anchor point did the same on the other side if you pull one wire they all go this is a buffalo tough fence check this out i am moving it and it's all moving with it this is this is a very good way an old, old trick of securing a valley. Com combination of your wood post and a couple anchors. And you really have something here, folks. You really have something. Hope you're enjoying this series of fencing. So in this valley, we have two wood posts and 
Tuesdays. Without having your anchor point up top, this wire just eventually wants to pull down. So you need something to hold the wire up on top, right before you go into the dip almost, and something to keep it down. In this just little valley, we have just one wood post. Normally there would be two here. But this is to the customer's order here. Well, thank you folks for watching. I hope the videos are helping. I hope this series on fencing is really helping you out. As always, hit that thumbs up button, leave comments below, and we very much appreciate hearing from you. Thank you. May the Lord guide and keep you in these last days that we live in. Until next time, this is Luke Simons. Happy trails.